Bible Basics Q&A with Professor Pete. Hello again, everybody. Peter Sibilio here, the Bible teacher from Lord's University. We love your questions at Annunciation Radio, and it's my pleasure to help with some answers. Today's question comes from Tara, who asks, what's the best way to stay connected to the Bible over the summer? Connections seems to be a theme, Tara. Last week, we said that we go from resurrection to connection with the whole church. So the church is key to our connections with the Bible. Too often, we start skipping Mass and simply promise ourselves to read the Bible more on vacation. And then we break that promise, too. Too often, we think, well, I'm on vacation, so I don't have to go to Mass. What? Do you eat on vacation? (laughs) I eat a lot more. But miss Mass one week, and it's like not eating for two weeks. I couldn't imagine that. When I visit my mom, she thinks I come just for the home cooking. Of course, I really come for the love. And that's why we go to Mass. The first Christians often called it the love feast, because we share the Word of God, then we share the table of God. Jesus in John says we live not by bread, but by every word from the mouth of God. He then says we follow that up together by eating his flesh and drinking his blood. So the best way to connect to the Word is by staying connected to each other. And that means Mass. Instead of missing Mass over the summer, how about investing a little vacation time in daily Mass? How about doing a scripture study on all those daily readings? You've heard of Theology on Tap? Well, how about wine and word? I'll bring the rosé. They say it's great for summer, just like your question, Tara. Thank you so much for it, and thank you all for listening. We are listening to you.